So what I'm doing today is I'm actually running all the electrical for all of the uh, lights that are gonna be going in the ceiling, as well as the AC units that we'll install later. Uh, so I'm running all of that electrical now so that on Monday we can get this ceiling uh, sprayed with the foam insulation. for the ceiling. Um, I routed everything for the lights and our AC units. Got some stuff hanging down here that'll go down into the walls. For outside the vanity and bathroom and shower. We are ready to get this ceiling sprayed on Monday. Yeehaw. So we are um, heading up to Salt Lake City to drop the bus off to have the ceiling sprayed um, for the closed cell foam insulation. Um, yeah, we're pretty excited. Be going on the uh, roof. sprayed in the closed cell foam stuff. So in order to put this, these ceiling panels back on, I have to have everything flush with these. And so, as you can see, I've had some cutting to do. Anyway, seemed to work pretty well. Um, I've got to get the grinder out and get all this excess tape and everything off. And, We'll be good to go. Well, that also was not pleasant. Whew. Okay, progress has been uh, really slow this week. We had to drive the bus down to Salt Lake City to get all the spray foam insulation put in, um, which is kind of frustrating. I'm hoping to make some uh, progress today. Um, by putting in uh, some of the ceiling panels. Um, I don't know that I'll get through all of them because I gotta cut in the light holes and those kind of things. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully some more progress. Here we go.
ceiling panels in. I got all the holes cut for my electrical, for my lights, AC units. Even got a test light put in. The next thing that we're gonna do is actually put uh, some plywood on these exterior walls so we have something to attach to for all of our cabinets and interior walls, um, electrical, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so I spent most of yesterday cutting out this one piece of plywood that we're gonna attach to the wall, and we're gonna do this on all the walls. Um, but I had to account for the radius and the windows and the latches. Um, anyway, so I cut all of that out. I cut all of those out, did the recess in the back so it'll go snug against the, the wall. Did all of that, and then I made a discovery. Um, I knew that there wasn't as much space in the back of the bus, like height in the back of the bus as there is in the front of the bus. I, I knew that it got shorter in the back. I assumed that the ceiling was coming down. Um, but what I found out after I had made this piece is that the floor is actually going up. So that changes the angle um, to the windows and everything. So I have to tackle this um, completely differently than I was doing. So, back to the drone board. Okay, I finally got this sheet cut and fit, and I wanted to show you everything that's going into it. So here it is. You can kind of see these radius of the window. I've got these cutouts that I have to have for these locks. Also, you can see that center pin when these go up that pin comes down so i've got to account for that um, i have these plates at the bottom of these so i had to do the cutout for those on each one and get it all to line up anyway first piece is done i think i have learned a lot we'll get it in here we go Yeah. 